What is up, YouTube? Today we are back with an actual Guild War banger because we are fighting a rank number two Kyoto. And uh, it's good because I have a long history with Kyoto. I have a lot of good friends. Shout out to Zeki, Velo, Speedy, Kari, uh, Lion, Binwu, everyone. Everyone that I kind of grew up with uh, coming into competitive Guild Wars and Thick. They really kind of you know, taught me the game and they kind of raised me and you know I'm very appreciative of them. Uh, even to this day so you know i hope all of you guys are doing well uh, but anyways um we're gonna be fighting them and it's gonna be an exciting war i hope since they seem to be hall of fame com contenders this year or this season i should say hopefully that is the case um but you know there's really only one way to find out so let's hop straight into it Alrighty guys, so in round number one, we are going to be fighting one of our longtime friends, Ben Wu. And if you're watching, Ben Wu, I hope you've been doing well. Um, but her defense is going to be um, Zahawk, Karina, and AOL. So I'm going to be running a hand guy here, just so that we have a cleanse. And we're going to be on Warhorn. The ER is not really necessary since we can cleanse anyway with her passive. Um, but we have APOC here as well, because here's my destruction, APOC on penetration set now the main reason we're running this is because we want the aol to just give free cr into the apoc and if it does go into the hand guy it's not a big deal um, because this will also give cr pushing into for apoc as well and we have terran roll guard here on guide to a decision um so the, the whole idea of this concept is we basically just want Zahawk to kill himself into uh, terran roll guard and you may be thinking oh well what about using like rose or crown and things like that well, Crow, if he gets injured, his actually does nothing. He just gets defense buff up, and he's not going to do much. Um, additionally, Rose also is just kind of the same concept, right? Like, she just gets injured, you give attack buff, but I'm already going to get attack buff from um, my hand guy. So the, it makes the most sense to run this. And if you are wondering, uh, Zahawk should take damage from his S3 before he goes invincible. And we are basing this theory based off of Stray's S3 killing himself when hitting a Terran or World Guard. Uh, and that we've confirmed before for sure and i've seen it multiple times so hopefully it's the same thing um i i don't know but we'll find out uh for round number two uh we're fighting lilius senya and apoc so we want to have doors as a light bait for the apoc to go into and we need to have immunity in this fight because if senya moves first and provoke locks us we're going to be in a little bit of trouble uh we have destina on a super tanky build uh, the ER is basically abysmal, we are not going to need it at all, but basically you want to have the CR pushing E and be as stacked as possible. And uh, we have Dark Corvus here as well on Proof of Valor and as much HP as possible. Now the idea behind this concept, or this team, is you might be thinking, oh well there's Senya and Lilius, why not run Rowana, right? Well the thing is, what if you know Senya has high effectiveness and locks down the Dark Corvus on some times where you know we might be able to rip an S3? It's just not a good plan right so you want to have a cleanser in case the dark orphan needs to rip an, rips an s3 when you have enough souls um so that's the whole concept behind this team um, most people may think oh why don't you you know do lone crest and balona or something like that well fortunately i don't have her otherwise that definitely would be the play but you know, without further ado let's hop right into it and hopefully come with a win <laughs> okay, so Zahawk does do S2 first on animation. I originally thought it was only S3. Um, I thought it was about to run for like a Selene or something, but then you can see that the Zahawk dies right away. <laughs> AM was on book 15.8k, so you can definitely rule out that she's not on anything crazy. And we're just gonna cleanse here. The Karina's gonna go into TG. With skills like yours, you never stood a chance. And it actually crits, so we actually get a bit of free damage, which is nice. Those who fear and we're just gonna S2. I fight for we're gonna go for an S3 to strip. Okay, so we didn't strip. Unfortunately, the AOL targeting is also going on APOC, which just kind of sucks, which but honestly, it's not really going to make much of a deal, or much of a difference, rather, just because of this defense being kind of... I mean, let's be real, this is not really a real defense. Um, I mean, she just kind of has whatever, whatever on here, which is fair enough. It's probably safe for more gold than I am. Those who and just, oh wait, probably shouldn't have S3. I don't think it matters. We can generate souls for AOL well to the Soul one faster. I will deliver unto you your salvation. 
And hopefully the uh, in-game audio isn't as loud this time around. Uh, I do apologize for the last video. The audio is really loud. Okay, so first fight's pretty straightforward. You just finish her off. Now moving over into round two. So Senya moves first, so as we mentioned, you won't have immunity on your soul weaver, so you're gonna go for Not enough ER for the Destina. So we're not really in much danger just because we're very bulky. So we wanna grab the CR bar here. We're gonna use Destina speed and we're just gonna heal. Because we don't have enough souls for DC right away, right? So there's really no need for us to do anything aside from just stall out the turns. So I'm actually going to wait. I need another turn first. I don't really want to S1 the Elias, so I might just S1 the Senya. And he definitely has Jedi Weapon but it's not a big deal because we just push him down with Force 3 before he has 2. And we push him down here, since he has to give him souls to push him down. And we don't need to push again, so he can just S1 here. And I'm going to probably want to soul burn. The Elias doesn't just need to push S3, it's not a kill Ravi. Um. Yeah, let's go to the first. Two force. 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 So one more turn off of Dark Order, so I'm just going to have something already. So I'm going to have something already to counter, because I'm going to I'm going to actually... I'm going to push down Dark Order, so I can't get a charge. This is less counter. I can use Destina to push back down. We'll match all the turns, because we push Dark Order down, and first. Oh, never mind, fine. So we're going to push Dark down. I don't think Dark Order will do 20 speed damage. We'll do large damage. We'll do large damage. Uh, 70 k, so we're going to need 2 rips of damage. I'm sure it's exactly practical, but it's fine. We're just gonna go a little bit ready, but I don't really want to send either. Because we got a blocks and we got awkward. In the next turn. Oh my god, this is kind of ready. Yeah, that's it, I guess. Get another. Oh, Coke's in again. That's good. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna here. Looking at the sus, right? Um, honestly, it's fine. I'm gonna have to send here. I'm gonna have to go full. So I'm gonna charge DC. You already got me now, so just gonna hit the ready here. Okay, I did not hit the ready here, I just got it. So now that any moves, I can just push down the ready. I'm gonna go first. It's probably still not gonna be able to do the damage. Because I'm gonna have to push against the ready. Honestly, maybe the group power is reduced. So you're gonna do more damage now? Yeah, okay. So we'll do the damage now. We seem to be alright right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to send it. It's not actually gonna be done either. Oh, critical attack. I got her. I'm gonna start working with the rest of the time. I'm gonna get you know what? I'm going to use the last one just so you guys can really enjoy watching this. So I will uh, see you guys in another GP. sums it up for that fight. For our second battle today, we're going to be attacking Senya, Elias, and Karina. So um, I'm going to try to run Arya again here. And uh, on Fairy Tale of a Nightmare, because you want to have the chance of stripping buffs, uh, but also just doing fixed damage against Senya is mandatory. And you don't want to have her on any speed boots, you just want to have full bulk. So as much defense and HP as possible. Uh, you're relying on the chip damage for Fairy Tale for doing most of the damage. Uh, Destina is going to be on a tank build that you guys saw in the previous attack. It's going to be on a CR push EE. And we're going to be running Christy on just a standard build. Um, we have Rise of a Monarch so that we can get more barriers to the Arya. Honestly, it doesn't really matter what Christy does. She's just here to provide ER for the Arya. And for the bottom, uh, most of you may be thinking, you know, why don't you run, you know, Terran or Royal Guard? So the reason why Terran or Royal Guard might not be that good is because you guys have seen previous attacks from me. 
where I run Terra on a World Guard with Yulha and Roanna, and A, it could be Injury Meru, B, the Meru could just never crit your TRG and kill everything else and you just lose. So I'm going to go for a different option um, where we're going to be running uh, into Aemon Kisei Mercedes. I'm going to be running a Tank Politus on Togahel Ancient Book. And basically the idea is in case Kisei is 300 speed on Alexa's with Torrent and Penset, she lives. Okay. Um, and then basically the, I, the fight's going to go Aemon S2, S3, Poly remove Skill Null. It could proc magic for friends, right? Um, if my RB dies, he is on a glass cannon build on Portrait, so we moved him on attack boots just so that he can do as much damage as possible. And we're going to be running BBK on ER as well. Um, this is probably an overkill. You probably drop a little bit, but this is my PvP BBK and I'm not really going to change it. Um, we're going to put Symbol on because in case the Kisei is on a dodge artifact like Shepherd of the Hollow um, or Double Edge to Crescent or for whatever reason, um, that way we have a guaranteed chance of hitting. Um, assuming everything goes to plan, it should be pretty clean, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and find out. For every tear we've shed. So, Ilanav is 21.2k HP. Are you ignoring my warning? Okay. That's the speed. I think the Christie changes were actually very nice. Um, very necessary. So this doesn't really do anything, I think. Um, pretty sure I take the first turn, since I'm ahead of the Senya. Okay, never mind. It's fine, I guess. I'm gonna put our S3 up here, and just let Arya go to town, pretty much. One of the biggest regrets is not pulling uh, Mobilona. I think she's so waifu and she's really good in Guild Wars. So. If she ever comes around or she's in the coin shop like six months down the road, I probably wouldn't want to buy her. Beautiful. So there's, you see the chip damage coming out? It's huge. The chip damage just does so much. So now it's going to go into the Aria. Everything just goes into Aria, they just kill, like, kill themselves. You could probably alternatively do like Maid Chloe uh, Crimson Armin with the Arya. I think some other people would do that if they played the Carmen Maid build in RTA. Uh, I personally don't have those units geared, um, so I just don't, don't bother. You will regret this. It's time to get serious. And I'm going to S2 the Arya. Because Karina's still going to take a turn before my Arya, so I can still get the counter off. And I just want to give her a little bit of HP. Hmm? That's procs. This will suit you yet. Let's see the damage. <laughs> oh. By the way, when you have five stacks of uh, focus on Arya and you counter and then your S3 procs or your S2 procs with the additional attack, that does 3k damage with a max fairy tale uh, of a nightmare. So just FYI in case you guys are wondering. Are you All right, so Aemon moves first. We remove skill null. Does he proc magic? No magic. A future wrongly and he probably pro pushes Kisei. Once again. Nope. So Kisei goes. Let's see if we can tank a gab Kisei here. Right. We can. Nice. The situation is critical. So basically, we just S1 the Meru and S3. Uh, I guess the stun is left is ruined. The stun is cool, I guess. Uh, we're just gonna solver here because we are gonna be able to solver an S1. Uh, sorry, S3 with the uh, BBK afterwards, or RB can just take care of all of this to be honest with you. I'll be your opponent. Can you hear the approaching ruin? And uh, everything's good? Yep, everything's good. Well, I guess we didn't even need BBK there. You can't break this sword. Nice and quick. Can Over you? to the third battle. For the last battle today, we're going to be going into LRK, Edward, and Kisei. So I'm going to run my Aimed at 296 speed on Fan of Light and Dark. And I'm going to be running a Kisei on Pen set and Torn set on Symbol of Unity in case it is a dodge artifact on Kisei. And I'm going to be running uh, Watcher Shuri for the 10 speed imprint in case it is a fast Kisei. And I'm going to just run him on Sashay for some CR pushing. 
And the idea is basically just aim and push Kisei, kill everything off, and then Watcher can finish off anything else that's standing. Uh, for the bottom team, we're gonna running, uh, fighting Last Beast Karen, Senya, and Ravi. So I figured we might as well make this a Aria video. Um, so Aria you saw in the previous fight, exactly same stats. I don't think any of these can kill Aria anyways. Um, and then we have Destina on the tank build, since they have, really don't have that much bulk or anything. And then we have uh, Christy and just providing Rise of Monarch barriers for the Aria as well. Um, honestly, I don't really know what I would run against this, uh, to be completely honest with you, since I never fought a LPK before. But uh, I guess we'll find out if this uh, attack works. I don't think Aria can really lose, but yeah, let's just take a look and see. Please have faith in so here's the speed, and then we're just going to push everything up here. If we must fight. Going to push the, the Kisei up here. Will revitalize the fallen. You who do so now my the Kisei, the I'm night. just gonna rip S3 into the Ed. Moonlight. I mean this whole team should be dead. Pull like they should down. all be dead. Yeah, that's 32k. I'm ready. Um in this case, I'm just gonna Let's S3 on the LRK. And see who falls. Just to get as much damage out as possible, and just gonna rip us too, and everything is good. Yeah. Boom. Okay, cool. Holy sack, but we have skill modifiers, so it doesn't really matter. Yep. Does not matter one bit. We just mess one. I never mess one again. And then we just soul burn for extra damage here. 21k damage. Ooh, Kisei is very strong. Alright, now looking at the second fight here, Hellcutter Fire Ravi with Last Beast Karen going first. No one has ever reached. If you see it, it's too Ooh, that's good damage. Very good damage. Oh, I should have a CR bar, whoops. Don't be afraid. Get a CR bar. And um yeah, I guess I'm just gonna S1 here. I can hear them. Uh so we reset the Hellcutter stacks because she got attacked. Yeah, I mean this. Oh wait, no, sorry. This is cold. I don't really know what. Maybe they're cooking up something crazy. I, I have no idea. Okay, Fire Ivy just has no gear. I guess. Well, that's a shame. I was looking forward to actually having a competitive uh, war, but that's unfortunate. Uh, okay. So that's dead. Looks pretty straightforward. I guess we can ask one here. Not a big deal of encounters. We're just gonna let uh, Fairy Tale of a Nightmare do the work. Oh, never mind, we provoked. It's also not on lifesteal effect exclusive equipment. That's weird. Counter, fairy tale frogs. May the grace of the battlefield be with you. In the light's name. Just gonna S1. I mean, if we think about it, would Fire Ravi really have made a difference in this fight? I would say probably not. I don't think so. But maybe. I won't just let you do whatever you want. Fear nothing. Don't lose. I've lived. For this moment. Senya. You regret this. Just gonna soul burn. And. I don't have to S3 because I'm pretty sure this is just gonna die anyways. But I'll just S3 just for good measure. Just to make sure. The greater good requires sacrifice. Okay. Not quite dead, but serious. almost. If you notice, we actually stripped the counter buff. Which is good. Perfecto. Nice and clean, nice and quick. Like I promised in the first fight. Alrighty guys, so that is gonna do it for today's Guild War video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It's always fun being able to use Arya three times of war, even though talentless technically banned her in Guild War. But anyways, I appreciate all of you supporting the channel and the growth has been immense, so I'm really thankful for everybody. 
And uh, yes, we are going to be dropping Katie's episode 3 this week, so make sure you subscribe and don't miss out on that. And as always, I'd like to ask kindly, please drop a like and comment below as it really helps me with the algorithm. And let me know what you guys think in the comments about starting up some shorts. Would you guys like shorts content? Would you guys not? And what type of ideas do you guys have for shorts? Also, I want to let you guys know that the Guild War defense video and the Guild War scouting video are a work in progress. Unfortunately, I can't spread myself too thin working on a bunch of videos at the same time. So hopefully you guys understand and I'll get those out as soon as I can. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and appreciate all of you. And have a great rest of your day. And until Wednesday or Tuesday or Thursday, I'll see you again. Bye.